Health officials confirmed the first U.S. case yesterday. A baby in Hawaii with the disease was born with brain damage. With only 201 days left until the Rio games begin, Brazil's health minister says the government is working to develop a vaccine in record time, but he also gave this warning. O estrangeiro que vier ao Brasil. The foreigner who comes to Brazil and intends to get pregnant or is pregnant is in the same situation. Just like Brazilians, they should take all the necessary measures not to come in contact with the mosquito because it can bite and it can carry the Zika. And all the precautions might not be enough because the problem is extremely serious. The CDC has issued an alert against traveling to 14 countries and territories, including Brazil, in the Caribbean and South America. Joining us now from Miami to really explain this disease is Dr. Eileen Marty, a professor of infectious disease at Florida International University. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. So okay. let's get right to it here. What exactly is this virus and how is it spreading so quickly? Well, uh, there's a few things. Number one, this virus it has been around for a long time. We, we recognized it in, back in 1947. Uh, we've seen human cases since the 1960s. And it's just, it's spreading now into the Americas. Once it hit the Americas, and Brazil in particular, where the population was susceptible because they'd never, they, no one was immune, uh, it, it was much easier for the virus to spread very, very quickly and, and see so many cases. And now it's spread to a whole host of countries in Latin America. And of course, people who, who go to the endemic areas can bring it back. So how serious is it? I mean, now we know of a case here in the United States. Granted, it's in Hawaii, which is you know, pretty, pretty far out there. But should we be worried? Well, first of all, the case in Hawaii was from a traveler to Brazil. So it's not something that was acquired in Hawaii. Um, but we do have the mosquitoes that can, tra that particular genus of mosquitoes that can transmit Zika in many parts of the United States, including Florida and Texas and parts of California, et cetera. So it is possible, though we hope we can avoid uh, our mosquitoes becoming infected and then the disease becoming endemic here in the United States. It's already in Mexico, so it's very, very close by. Um, uh, should we be worried? Absolutely. If you travel and you are pregnant and you go to one of these areas, people who are healthy adults and are not pregnant, um, they if they get infected, the disease is generally somewhat mild. It lasts two to seven days, sometimes a little bit longer. It, it can be very, very unpleasant with a rash and red eyes and fever and um, joint pain and so forth, but it generally goes away. The problem is really to the pregnant mother. All right, so you were just talking about the symptoms there. Let's talk about this link to brain damage in babies. How does that happen? Well, there's actually a number of different things that can cause this type of damage to babies' brains, including other infectious agents that have been demonstrated, torch uh, agents we call them, that can cause these kind of neurologic problems. They're very horrific problems. The baby is born not only with a very small head, but missing the most important parts of the brain uh, that, that help us reason and think. So th it's a severe, severe problem. This particular virus, we don't 100% know is causing this disease, but the evidence is very, very strong in that we've seen a huge increase in cases as the disease becomes endemic in Brazil. We also saw it before in 2007 causing neurologic uh, problems in babies in, in the islands in the Pacific in Micronesia. So we know that there's an association that way, but also now researchers in Brazil and the United States and elsewhere have been able to demonstrate that in some of these babies w that have this uh, complication, we can actually find the virus in the babies. And that's actually what happened in Hawaii as well. And is there enough research or information out there to be tracking these babies that they have found, um, have, have, have had damage from this virus, to be able to see long-term effects? Oh, there will be long-term effects, uh, absolutely, uh, and, and it's patently obvious when the child is born. 
that they have this complication from this particular virus, uh, as it seems that it, it is actually linked. So um, what we have to do is prevent it, and what we have to do moving forward is one of the things you mentioned in your piece, which is to develop a vaccine, which I hope won't be as complicated as other vaccines to develop, number one. And there is currently no specific treatment to try and find a specific treatment to perhaps give a mother that we know is infected to see if that would um, prevent this from happening in the infant. But the best thing is, is to not uh, let the disease spread and certainly to keep it out of, of unendemic areas. Okay, and just real quick for you, doctor, the CDC obviously has issued a travel warning right now. What more does the CDC need to do to keep the public safe from the spread of this disease? Well, we need to educate the public, as this kind of broadcast does do, to let people know that it's out there, to know that there's a risk when they travel. People who are traveling need to see a travel medicine specialist uh, and make sure that they're covered and that they understand what they can do to protect against themselves against this particular kind of mosquito, which happens to be a day biter. Um, you know, what kind of clothing to wear, what kind of mosquito repellent to use, when to use it, all these things. They need to be very keenly aware of this if they do have to travel. They also should know that a that there is some link to the possibility that if a uh, if a man gets the uh, the the Zika virus comes home, uh, there has been sexual transmission of this virus as well to the mother. So um, w we have to be very keen on both men, men and women who are traveling to endemic areas. All right, Dr. Eileen Marty with Florida International University. Thank you so much for shedding light on this new disease. Thank you.